Hey guys, welcome back. I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Sasha Daygame. Uh, I've met Sasha once briefly, but I'm really looking forward to hearing him speak. I haven't heard him speak yet. Um, he's a former professional comedian, so he should be in for a treat of some sort. Um, he's also the founder of the Direct Dating Summit, uh, a returning speaker to the 21 convention, and he's infamous for many of his YouTube videos. Uh, and he has an amazing reputation for really being able to help guys transform their fears, break through, and uh, just start rocking it with their dating lives. So let's welcome Sasha. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> That was funny because for a second you're like, I'm gonna bring up Sasha Day game, and then you got real serious and you're like, is there a problem? I'm like, who's got a beep with me? So I was I thought we didn't have to fight. Cool, how are you guys doing? Yeah. That was shit. Woo! <laughs> how are you guys doing? Woo! Yeah! Who's ready for vagina? Woo! Let me hear you say vagina! Vagina! <laughs> Let me hear you say, we're worthy of vagina! Yeah, see, I'm worried because some of you might be bisexual because that was a bit, that was a bit, weak. that's all right. Cool. All right. So let's get right into it. I, I talk a lot, so I'm probably going to go fast, cover a lot of stuff and, and try and have some time for questions at the end. So let's get cracking. First of all, Sasha Daygame is a boss. Just thought I'd point that out in case anybody didn't know. Welcome to London. It's my home turf. Glad you're here. All right. So first of all, I want to go through some core mindsets. Uh, I'm presuming you all know basically what I do. I don't like clubs, they're all gay, and uh, I just do day game, and I do direct, and anyone who doesn't do direct is a pussy. That's pretty much just to catch you up real quick. All right, so core mindsets for moi, okay? Not giving genuine compliments to women is rude, okay? Inappropriate behavior. There's a beautiful girl walking down the street, Okay? She's taken all this time to make herself look amazing, right? She's done the, she, maybe she goes to the gym and works out, maybe she's just a skinny bitch, nobody knows, but she goes through all this effort, she's eating good, she does her hair, and all this kind of shit, probably spent an hour and a half doing her makeup. She looks amazing, okay? And all you have to do to make her feel great is say, hey, you know what? You're beautiful, you look sexy, whatever. That's all you gotta do, it takes three seconds, but you, you're just gonna walk by and do nothing, aren't you, huh? You lazy, selfish bastard, okay? Not cool. Right? It's really fucking easy. So being lazy, I don't care what the excuse is. Well, maybe she won't like it. Shut the fuck up, all right? She's a woman. She looks good. Tell her she looks good, okay? It's rude. It's, it's insulting to women. It's insulting to women not to tell them how good they look. If you don't tell them how good they look, either you're gay or you're just an asshole, okay? Pick one, okay? Does that make sense? This should be your mindset, okay? Stop being an asshole. Start telling girls they're fucking sexy. Is that making sense? Good but what if she doesn't like it? Shut the fuck up. All right. Number two, start living life authentically and learn to love making women's day, okay? So, you're a man. Presuming you're heterosexual, you see a beautiful girl, most natural thing in the world to tell her she looks good. It's actually inauthentic and weird to not tell her she looks good. It's, it's not authentic. You're not being a normal man, okay? If you like women, and you want to have sex with women and date them. Who likes girls? Put your hands up real quick. All the people like women. All right, so everyone has got your hand up. You are not being authentic if you are not approaching girls, okay? It's not natural. It's weird. Stop being a weirdo, okay? Now, again, this one, I used to talk about this for ages. I love, who, I mean, who does not love making women feel good? Anybody? Quick, let's, like, make some noise if you just hate making women feel good. Come on, all the... Nobody? There you go, okay? It's fucking, everybody does, okay? It takes one second. I got addicted to this. I love making women feel good. Not just in the bedroom, also in the bedroom, okay? But in all aspects. So by coming up to them, telling them they look fantastic, you're making them feel good. Nothing bad ever happens. I've, I've talked about that in other speeches before, so I'm not gonna go into it. Get addicted to this. Start being authentic. Love making women's day. They'll love you for it. Okay, now, this one can be funny. Beautiful women are easier. I'm not saying necessarily if she's hot, she's just gonna lay down and yeah, take my vagina now. That's not necessarily what I'm saying. However, a lot of guys have this fucked up mindset where they think, oh, well, I'll just go for girls that aren't that hot. I, I know lots of guys who just will not approach the really hot girls. They'll go for girls who are like, kind of like okay or, or semi-cute or whatever. And I'm like, no, no, okay? 
Beautiful girls are way friendlier. They're way friendlier. They're way more upward. They want to talk to you. They know they're beautiful. They're okay with it. As long as you know how to approach them and you're okay with yourself, you've got a chance, okay? It's the ugly girls that are going to give you the most hard time because they're fucking ugly. No one's talking to them. <laughs> they're fat. Nobody wants to be, hey, sorry, that's just how it is. So, like, if you approach a girl who's like a little chubby and not really that hot, and you're like, hey, you know, what's going on? I want to meet She's going to be like, get the fuck away from me. What do you want from me? Because they're not used to, they're, they're going to think you're, you're trying to rob them or it's some kind of trick or some shit. They're, they're, they're not in a good place, okay? They're not, okay? I, I wish them all the best. However, it's easier to hook up with gorgeous girls because, hey, they know they're gorgeous. They're okay with it. They've had easy lives. People treat them nice. There's no reason, if you're a hot 24-year-old girl and you look good and whatever, there's no reason for you to be angry at the world. Why would you be angry? Why? Everybody's always giving you whatever you want, hand and foot, okay? So for all you guys out there who are like, well, yeah, yeah, should be, I just get nervous with hotter girls and I don't know, I just maybe one day I'll work your way. No, shut the fuck up. Start approaching girls. I'm gonna talk about this more later, but beautiful women are easier to deal with, easier to get on dates, easier to hook up with than girls that are not beautiful, okay? So stop wasting your time with non-beautiful girls. Go for the girls that you actually like. Hit. Going for what you want is sexy and makes you a boss. That's right, I spelled boss that way. Uh, one of the most attractive things you can actually, you know, characteristics you can actually have is just going for what you want, okay? This is for everything. Obviously, I'm talking about dating, but so few people actually try and get what they want. It's unbelievable. I, I talk about this in a bit uh, more specifically. But in terms of women, it's super attractive just going for what you want, like literally going for it. So, so many guys don't go for it. They don't approach or they'll talk to a girl. They're not clear. They don't know what they're talking about. They're not actually trying just by really going for it. When a woman says, holy shit, this guy's really trying to hook up with me. Damn, he's not kidding. He's really, he's trying to, he's not going to walk away without my number. He's not, I might, fuck, this guy really likes me. Okay. When you get, when you get it into a woman's head that you really are going for it, okay, that you're not afraid, that you're really going for it, you like her, you want to be with her, that is extremely attractive, okay? Because guess what? It's showing her that you're, you're a guy who's used to getting what you want. You've, you've clearly got some skills with women. You believe in yourself, okay? You're being authentic. You're going for what you want. These are all attractive qualities, okay? Got to go for what you want, okay? I see so many guys, they know what they want. They won't say it. They won't act on it. And they might tell their friends, hey, I really like her, but I don't know, okay? Just by going for it, you're already putting yourself in a category, aside from a lot of people who, who completely are not, makes you a boss. Just by trying, you're a boss in my book. There's no failure. If you're trying, you're doing good. So fucking go for what you want. Now, this is a big one. I've talked about this so much before, but I'll do it quickly. There's no such thing as rejection. Okay, who, who still really feels that they're afraid of rejection? Okay, let's see the hands. Really? Only six guys. Wow. Okay, so the rest of you are gangsters already, huh? You're all gangsters. All right, so a couple of mindsets for this. First of all, I just got to a point where I just don't care. I just don't care anymore. I just don't care what people think. I just approached so many girls already and had lots of success, lots of failure. I just don't care. I love myself, and I don't care what people think. Um, that takes a while to cultivate. Okay? That, take, that could take a lifetime of really working on yourself and doing all that kind of stuff. And hopefully, you're all on that path. You're here right now, so I'm guessing you're already on that path of just getting better and, and building on your core, you know, loving yourself. That's, that's really the, the ideal thing you can do to, to not have rejection is to love the shit out of yourself. You know, like, I'm so fucking awesome. If a girl rejects me, I look at her like she's fucking retarded. I'm just like, what is wrong with you? You're just going to go home and do what? You're just going to fucking jerk off or you're going to fucking be with some douchebag guy with no personality who's just a fucking, like, what do you do? I feel, I feel sorry for women. If they have an opportunity with me and they fuck it up, I feel really bad for them. I'm just like, oh, oh, you're retarded. Oh, that sucks. I'll give them a little hug like, you're a retard. Oh, that's cute. No, you'll find yourself a nice retarded guy one day. That's cool. It's not going to be me, but that's fine. Uh, and I, I feel bad for them, and they see that I feel bad for them, and I'm just like, yeah, you fucked it up. That's fine. Um, and that's, that's really, you know, they fucked it up. You know, I, you know I, I feel bad. I still feel bad for all those girls who fucked it up. What can you do? Okay, so, so that's why rejection doesn't exist. But furthermore, a specific mindset I want to share is a couple. First of all, I don't believe in, I just don't think rejection really exists. This is something uh, Alan Roger Curry, uh, a good friend of mine, and one of our speakers at the, at the summit, he gave me this example, and this blew my mind. It was a couple years ago now, so I'll share this with you directly from him. 
Let's imagine just for a second, there's uh, some kind of club, okay? There's 50 girls in that club, 50 women, okay? They're all in there, dancing around. And I say to you, I'm gonna go into that club, I'm gonna give one of those women uh, an envelope with $5,000 in it. Let's make it 5,000 pounds. Yeah, it's more money, okay? Now, all you gotta do to get that money is go into that club and walk up to every girl and say, excuse me, do you have what I'm looking for? Okay? If, if you walk up to one of the other 49 girls, they're just gonna look at you and be like, no. And you gotta ask her three times. Okay? You gotta say to each girl, do you have what I'm looking for? Three times. If you find the right girl, the third time you ask, she's gonna be like, yes I do, pow, she gives you the money. However, all the other chicks are just gonna look at you like, what the fuck are you talking about, get away from me. Okay? So, of the people in this room, who would go in there and try and get that 5,000? Okay? Just about everyone, this guy's not having any of it. That guy too, like, fuck that. I don't need that money. I'm, you must be rich. Right, you're my best friend now. Uh, you're my, I, wanna, I wanna go on a boat ride. So I'm, I'm hanging with you. But for everyone else, okay, so who put their hands up? You put your hands up? All right, so why would you go in there and, and try and get that money? I'm not jumping both ways. Like I can make 50 of them. You can talk to as many girls as you want. Yeah. But why would you do it? Okay, simpler. Anyone over here? Why would you, uh, you put, did you put your hand up? It would be fun, but why would you go in there and look for the money? You want the money? Okay. So are you not worried about all the other girls who are going to... Why not? Yep, you're never going to see them again is one reason, but be specific. Why, why doesn't it matter? Exactly. Bingo. Who said that? Fantastic. They don't have what you're looking for, right? Those 49 chicks, they don't have what you're looking for. So if you come up to them and they don't have it and you leave, is that, did they reject you? Is that rejection? No, of course not. They just don't have what you're looking for, <laughs> right? So same thing applies to women in dating, right? If you walk up to a girl, hey, I'd like to take you home and bang the shit out of you all night. I don't want to do that. Okay, well, maybe this girl over here does. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, I'd like to take you home and bang the shit out of you all night. Right, it's not rejection. She just doesn't have what you're looking for. It's that simple, okay? Rejection does not exist. My friend Marcus, in his speech uh, last year, he shared one of his mindsets, which is uh, one of my core ones as well, which is I don't, there's no rejection for me also because the category has kind of been replaced for me. It's either, you know, things are going to go well, I'm going to have a great interaction, have fun, get laid, make a friend, make a girlfriend, whatever, or other category, funny story. Okay, and that's been my mindset for two years now. Funny story. The worst things that have ever happened to me, the worst things, they've always been funny-ass stories, okay? Uh, and I've, I've shared this before on the internet, so I won't go into it. But it's a great mindset as well. There's no rejection because it's either going to go great or it's going to be hilarious. That's it. Some girl attacks you, tries to kick you in the balls, you know, freaks out. That's fucking hilarious. I'll be telling that to my friends. This chick tried to kill me. It was awesome. Okay? It's funny. I don't care. I'll be telling the next girl I have a date with about that. All right. Chink. Right. So I wanted to really emphasize this point. Okay? Generally speaking in life, see, guys are afraid to get what they want. They're like, well, what if I try and I fail? Guys are afraid of failure, but it's ridiculous because in reality, you're only competing with 3% of guys. 3%, okay? In every field, most, I pretty much realize that in most fields, in everything, every job you can imagine, most people suck. Have you noticed that? Most people suck. Most doctors suck. Most dentists suck. Most lawyers suck. Okay? Most PUAs suck. Okay? Most people just suck or, or they're just mediocre. Okay? Very few people are actually good at what they do. Okay? Very few people actually try to become in that top echelon. Okay? Uh, there's a story, there's this uh, one speaker, his name eludes me, but I love the guy. I just haven't listened to his stuff in years. He gives a specific example uh, that uh, many years ago there was a, a chain called Macy's in the States and they basically had this thing where they, uh, they were going to have a program to train people in their company to become managers. So if you're working for like seven bucks an hour or whatever, you could become a manager and then get a much higher paid job and you can manage your own store and all this kind of stuff. And they put out this program uh, to their own employees saying, okay, look, you can come in twice a week. We'll train you for free, maybe six hours a week. And then you go through the training, you get more money, become a manager, maybe even own a store one day. Okay, awesome. Okay, guess what percent of people in the entire chain actually applied, just applied to be trained for free to get better jobs and more money? 3%. 3%, okay? So if you're actually in that 3%, you're like, yep, I'm gonna be a boss, I'm gonna be awesome, I'm gonna improve myself. 97% of people aren't even competing against you. 
Okay? So it's not that hard to get good and succeed because most people are lazy. Okay? So again, by being here, I believe you're already in the 3%, so keep that in mind. All right. Now, why direct? So, like many of you in this room probably, uh, in my early years, I tried doing kind of like indirect stuff and just kind of trying to talk to girls without being clear about my intentions and what I was doing. And I suffered horribly. I suffered horribly. And today, I'm going to talk quite a bit about this. Okay? Now, I direct. Here's a word you're going to see a lot from me. More authentic. Okay? You're a man. Nine times out of ten, when you see a girl that you want to talk to, why do you want to talk to her? She's hot. She's sexy. There's something about her. Nice smile, nice tits, nice ass, whatever. She's fucking hot. You want to talk to her. This is the most natural thing in the world. Okay? Jesus gave us penises and them vaginas. Okay? <laughs> That's the way it's meant to be. Would have been funnier two weeks ago when I looked like Jesus, but not anymore. So, so it's just the most natural thing in the world. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay? All the, all the guys I've met that are truly amazing with women, that are, you know, naturals, they're not coming up with any excuses to talk to women whatsoever. They're talking to girls, they're saying whatever's on their mind. If they think a girl's sexy, they'll tell her she's sexy, they'll grab girls. They don't care. They're not afraid of anything, okay? And it is absolutely authentic and natural to just express that desire and to tell a girl, hey, you know what, I want to talk to you. I want to get to know you. You're cute, you're sexy, whatever, who are you, okay? Showing that authentic, natural uh, interest in a woman is normal, okay? And it's very strange to, to, on purpose, try and not show that you like a girl, to try and, you know, to on purpose hide your intention. It's weird, you know? If I want something from you, if I want you to pass me a fucking can of Coke, I'll be like, yo, pass me the Coke. I'm not going to be like, so, uh, listen, I, I was wondering, uh, that can of Coke doesn't really look, might fall over where it is. Can you just maybe pass that over here and we'll... And then later be like, actually, I wanted to drink the Coke, and that's why I had you. No! I'm just going to fucking, just pass me the fucking Coke, dude. You know? Why, like, you're, you're, most of you guys are already, naturally, being direct. But then when it comes to women, we're all fucking pussies. Okay? Doesn't make sense. Way more natural. Way more authentic. Next point. Saves time and psychological energy. Who here has ever spoke to a girl for half an hour, and then you find out, oh, whoops, she's got a boyfriend? Okay? I want to kill myself every time that happens. I literally want to jump off. I'm like, why the fuck was I talking to you? I want to have sex with you, and you've got a boyfriend, or you're fucking, you're not interested. What the fuck is this, okay? I hate it. I want, I've actually wanted to punch girls in the face, because I'm clearly flirting with them for like half an hour. They're like, yeah, ha, ha. Oh, I'm married. Why would you be here for half an hour? What are you doing? Okay? Uh, guess I shouldn't open with the Starbucks opener. All right, so saves time, okay? Time is our most precious commodity, okay? We're, I know a lot of you guys are young guys. We're all going to fucking die, okay? We're all dead. As soon as you're born, it's a fucking death sentence, okay? There's only one thing more valuable than everything, than your sex drive, than money, everything. It's time. Once your time is gone, it's gone. That's it. You have X amount of days on this planet. Hopefully, there's a lot of them. You never know. Could be a year. Nobody fucking knows. Some people believe the world is coming to an end. So your time is your most important thing, right? So I hate wasting my time. And, you know, like I'm 33 now. I'm getting older and older. I don't want to waste any time, okay? Every minute I want to be doing something. I want to be having a good time. You know, I want to be either working or being productive or, or enjoying myself. I don't want to just waste fucking time. Nothing angers me more than wasting my time with girls. If a girl's not interested, cool. Just tell me you're not interested, okay? So I'm going to be really... Yeah, so this basically saves you time and psychological energy. I let girls know within a minute or two, you're fucking sexy, I want to get to know you. I'll start hitting on her, I'll let her know my intention. If she's not interested, she's going to say, uh, no, I don't like you, I have a boyfriend, whatever. Cool, awesome, high five, great, we met, big hug, see you later, okay? Or, hey, maybe you're cool, we can, we can be friends, maybe. If she's really awesome, that's possible, okay? Saves you a lot of psychological energy. That's huge. When, you're, when you've got shit running in your head, when you walk away from a girl and you're just thinking, oh man, that bitch is wasting my time, I hate her, why'd she do this? Ah, fuck, I spoke to her for 45 minutes, okay? That's killing you, right? Everything is connected. You're, you're wasting a huge amount of energy uh, and it's extremely counterproductive, okay? Do not waste your psychological energy. All right, get more action. You actually get more action, okay? Can anyone guess why you'll get more action being direct? Just being clear about what you want. Nobody? Wow, what's that? Yep. 
Yep, that's absolutely. Okay, if you're actually saving more time, you can meet more girls. Absolutely. But just as importantly, you're actually asking for exactly what you want. There's a chance you might actually get it. It's really that simple. You're asking, hey, I like some pussy. Some girls are really, all right, yeah, I'm horny. You can have some pussy. Cool. Instead of, hey, so do you know where the, um, yeah, I was just kind of lost. Can you help? I mean, who knows? Yeah. Of course, of course, it's more awkward. Yeah, because you're just you're just yeah. faffing around. <laughs> Let's just say that you know, um, not asking makes it more awkward. That's all. Just microphone. Yep, less awkwardness. Absolutely. Okay. Pow. Oh. Oh yeah, this is a huge one. Okay, when you're direct and authentic and honest, you end up with women who are actually into you. Okay. Who wants to be with a girl who likes them for who they are? Anybody? Yes. Okay. So when you're inauthentic, you use any kind of premise, you know, maybe you're using routine, whatever it is you're doing, but if you're not really just being like, hey, you don't want to like you, I want to get to know you. If you're being inauthentic, you're trying to impress girls, whatever you're doing, you're going to end up with a chick who doesn't really like you. She likes what you represented. Maybe it was your car. Maybe it was, you know, you, you, uh, you know, pretending you had a certain type of personality trait that you don't have, whatever it was. Ultimately, this is why a lot of guys just don't have girlfriends. They just end up like having one night stands and all this kind of stuff because they're, they're, they're not projecting who they are. They're projecting you know, a bunch of bullshit to get girls and you'll get girls who fall for that kind of stuff. Hey, you know, I drive a Lamborghini or hey, let's do this routine and I'll impress you, look how interesting I am. But you're not that interesting. You don't drive a Lamborghini, okay? So yeah, you'll hook up with some chick and you'll never see her again because you're not that person you're representing, okay? So by being direct, you're essentially, you're being authentic, okay? So, you're going to end up with chicks who actually like you for who you are. And that, that's the most important thing. Um, you, you get to a point eventually where you don't really have to try to get women. Like, if you're just cool being yourself and you're just having a good time, and you're, you're just jumbling around just being you, girls are going to sense that, hey, this guy's just fucking cool with being himself. He doesn't give a shit. So they're going to be attracted to that automatically. And you don't have to do jack shit. Imagine just sitting at home and girls just want to see you. Fantastic. Without using escort services. Let me just put that out there. All right. Escorts are not your friend. By the way, this is my second ever PowerPoint presentation. It's awesome, isn't it? It's like cheating. You know, you can't forget what to say. It's all on the board. Love it. All right, you get more respect. This is a huge one, okay? Women respect a man who has the balls to say what he thinks and wants, okay? One of my students, great story. He had all these female friends, and he liked some of them, and he just was always supposed to be. And I just, I flipped out on him one day. I was like, dude, what do you want to have? Do you want to have... 30 female friends that you hang out with and don't have sex with, or would you rather hit on them all, some of them will get angry, and then you'll, you'll, you'll filter it down to three female friends who you're sleeping with. And he went, yeah, actually, I, I wouldn't mind that. That's exactly what happened. He just started going around hitting on all these girls, being, you know what, it's about time we hooked up. You're sexy, I'm sexy, let's do this. Come over for a back rub, let's get magical, okay? <laughs> he just started hitting on all these girls, right? And uh, what happened was a lot of them were like, no, I'm not interested in that, but, but cool. He ended up hooking up with about three of them, okay? But then what's interesting is the hottest girl, this is amazing, this goes with what I was saying before, I love this. The hottest girl in a social circle, who's literally one of the hottest girls in his school, she said to him, no, I'm not, I'm not interested in hooking up with you, but I do appreciate your honesty. And she started treating him completely differently than before. She started treating him like a boss. Every time there was an argument between, like one day, one day he got into an argument with another one of her friends, even though he was being a dick and was wrong, the hot girl who he hit on took his side, okay? And all the other girls in the social circle started treating him with more respect because she treated him with more respect. So suddenly they're like, well, he must be fucking cool now. Because, you know, and all he did was be like, you know what, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you. And she was like, nope. You know, that's all that happened. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fuck you. She's like, no, we're not. Uh, but at the same time, more respect, okay? Just from being honest and saying what was on your mind. Fucking awesome. I love that. Bink. All right, develop your self-esteem, okay? Again, you're being authentic. You're, you're going for what you want. You're doing all these things. You just feel better about yourself. You're not being a slimy little fucking maneuvering like, hey, let's, yeah, let's go to my house. I've got a iguana I want to show you. Yeah. What? Oh, you don't want to have to, oh, sorry. Uh, there, well, there was an iguana, but it, um, it's sick right now. It's in the hospital. No, okay? <laughs> Develop your self-esteem. This is really important because your self-esteem, again, it's for, for your whole life, right? You're always, it's either growing or it's shrinking, okay? So by being direct and honest and authentic, you respect yourself. I look in the mirror and I think, yes, that's a sexy man. I love him, okay? There's, I haven't done anything evil, wrong. Don't manipulate people. Therefore, I feel pretty good about myself. I look in the mirror in the morning and I go, yes, if I was a chick, I would marry the sh I would fuck the shit out of myself. Look at that man. He's delicious. Arr. Okay? 
So self-esteem, very important. Now, this is great. No angry girls and more girlfriends, okay? Again, because I'm honest with all the girls pretty much about my intention and also about the fact that I'm seeing other girls if I'm doing that and honest about the whole thing, there's no angry girls, ever. There's no chicks out there who are like, that fucking Sasha, he's an asshole, I hate him, I can't believe I let him put his penis in my vagina. There's no chicks out there uh, like that at all. Okay? One of my girlfriends, I was with her for a while, and I asked her, I said, you know, I basically, you know, we ended, we ended it and we decided to be friends or whatever. And she was a little bit like, er, and two weeks later, she texted me like, okay, I'm, I'm over to school, we can hang out as friends. And I, I, we met up and I said, hey, you know, you were a little bit pissy there before. Basically, she wanted to be like, you know, monogamous and I, I didn't want, I couldn't do that. Uh, and I said, how come, you know, why are you, you know, two weeks went by, you're totally cool hanging with friends. And she said, yeah, I thought about it and I, I couldn't think of a reason to be angry with you because you were open about it. You told me what you were doing. You told me you were seeing other girls. You told me, you know, we could have fun and that you, you weren't going to commit. And yeah, you pretty much did what you said. So yeah, I'm not angry. We could just be friends. You, you totally never did anything that, you know, would have me angry. And I went, yeah, cool. That was it. And that's exactly what happens with other dudes. Other guys will lie or pretend they want to be a chick's. Uh, you know, boyfriend or all this kind of shit, and then they'll, they'll have sex with them and then dump them. And the girls, of course, are going to be pissed off. She thought you were offering one thing and you didn't, uh, and you broke your word and you, and you lied or manipulated her or did whatever, and she's pissed off. She doesn't want to be your friend anymore. You lied to her, whether you fucked her or not, she she, that's it. She doesn't want to talk to you anymore. It doesn't happen to me. Um, and more girlfriends. So, again, so, so a lot of the girls I've hooked up with, and even though some of them have boyfriends now, whatever, we're still friends. You know, just yesterday, I got into town, you know, saw one of my girls. She's with this other guy now, but. You know, we hung out, it was fun, we got to catch up, and uh, it's great. Like, it's great to be able to hang out with chicks, you know, get female opinions on stuff. Hey. Uh, you know, and uh, it's awesome. I just like having chicks around, okay? And girls, believe me, can get you laid, okay? Girls can get you laid. You go out with a couple of girlfriends to a bar, guess what? They will, it's really easy to talk to girls when there's two cute girls hanging around you. Seriously, very easy. They'll go over there and poke girls and bring them over or whatever. It doesn't matter, okay? You're socially proofed, it's awesome, okay? Female friends. You will have lots of them. If you don't lie, be honest and authentic. The more you have, the better. The people run entire you know, things where all they do is have female friends and they just go and you know, get other girls. So that's good. Now, some mindsets. More mindsets. You're entitled to pussy. This is a really basic one. People are laughing. Is it because I put the word pussy up on the screen? Look, it's my presentation. I can swear in my thing if I want to. Just because I'm using PowerPoint does not mean I will not swear. Come on. Now, you're entitled to pussy. A lot of guys think they have to do shit to get pussy. It's ridiculous. I have to do this or make this money. It's fucking retarded. Okay? Uh, just accept right now. You should be getting laid right now. Okay? Unless you're a serial killer or you've done some horrible shit or you're like, you, you, you cut women's ears off and send it to people in the mail or some shit, you are entitled to pussy right now. You don't have to be earning X amount of money. You don't have to finish your fucking degree. You don't have to do anything. Right now, you have a penis, that's enough. Okay? You're a decent person, that's enough. You don't have to do shit. Okay? So stop getting that. I'm not sure. sure. Yes. You should all be getting laid tonight. If you're not, work on it. Everybody should be get all the time. There's nothing, there's no fucking test. There's no exam. You all should be getting, that's it. You're entitled right now, okay? All these ridiculous reasons. Well, maybe if I just know, you don't have to do that either. Right now, you're entitled to pussy. Everybody say, I deserve pussy on three. One, two, three. I pussy. That was horrible. That's a bunch of guys who don't think they deserve pussy. <laughs> on three, one, two, three. I could the neighbors hear us right now? Let, make, me feel, make me feel you want some fucking, that you deserve vagina. One, two, three. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. These two guys stand up. See, they're going to get laid soon because they stood up. They believe that shit. All right. Now, fearless. Start living fearlessly. Start, pick some shit you're terrified of and go do it. You have to be fearless. Fear is the number one thing that keeps you the fuck down. It's horrible. I hate it. I, I got over my fear by going out and just talking to the hottest girl I could find for years all the time. Uh, that helped a lot. Uh, some people go skydiving. Some, actually, one of our students recently, I was like, dude, you're too nice. You're too much of a sweetheart. Go jump out of a plane. He did. He jumped out of a fucking plane. He feels better now. Okay? Uh, make it a habit. Find some shit you're afraid of. Go do it. Uh, if that means talking to lots of girls, do that as well. But being fearless, fucking awesome. If you're terrified, you're not going to be direct. You're not going to be authentic. You're not going to tell girls you want to fucking stick your dick in their mouth. Uh, it's going to hold you back. Okay? Work on your fearlessness. Clear about your intent. Okay? This is like top thing ever. Okay? Be clear. Always. Girls need to know 
that you want to hook up with them, you want to fuck them, just by them knowing for sure 100% you're going to fuck them, that might get you laid. Even if a girl's like, well, I'm not sure, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, sometimes girls are horny. If something happens to their whatever guy they're sort of hooking up with or whatever, or one day they're super horny, or million, millions of reasons, but if you're absolutely clear, like, you know what, I really want to fuck the shit out of you. If you don't want to do that, that's fine, but you know what? Here's my number. I'm there for you. If you want to get the shit fucked out of you, I'm here for you. Okay? Just by being abundantly clear, I really like you, I want to hook up with you, that will get you laid just on its own, without any game or anything, just by making it clear. You know what? I want to put my dick in your pussy. That's what, that, that's what needs to happen here. That in itself can be enough. Be clear about your intent. Okay? Tell her. You like her? Tell her you like her. You want to fuck her in the mouth? You can tell her that if you want to. You want to go on a date? Great. You want to just go off and go on a date and maybe get to know her, get a cup of coffee? Great. Tell her that. Okay, be clear about what you want. Tell her, she's not psychic. Girls are not psychic, they don't know, okay? Some girls will just run away from you because they might think, you might talk to a girl for a while and be like, hey, let's get a drink. What does that mean, let's get a drink? Do you wanna be your boyfriend? Do you wanna just fuck her in the ass a couple of times? What do you want? They don't know. So I, I, literally, girls will flake on you because they're like, well, yeah, I kinda like him, but girls might be thinking, you know, I just wanna fuck a guy for a couple of weeks or have a fuck buddy, and I think this guy, you might wanna be my boyfriend, I don't want that. So they won't call you because they think maybe you want to be their boyfriend when really they just want to get fucked in the ass twice a week, okay? So you're going to miss out. So be clear. If you want to date or say, hey, I'd like to really get to know you, sweetheart, let's go out, you know, let's get some, let's go do something fun. Cool. You want to just fuck her. Hey, you know what? You and me should hook up. Let's, let's meet up sometime and exchange orgasms. You and me would look good naked together, okay? Let's do that. Make it, let them know. That's what I want. I want to get naked, okay? But be clear about your intent. It'll get you laid just that. Ink. Unapologetic, okay? You can never apologize. Never apologize. Hey, you're fucking sexy. I'd like to hook up with you. What? How did you say? Oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. You're a fucking pussy. You're done. If you ever apologize for your intentions, you're a fucking pussy. I'm going to punch you in the face, okay? Never apologize. You've got nothing to apologize for. Obviously, if you, like, you know, accidentally, like, killed her cat, that's different, okay? <laughs> then you're very sorry. But never apologize for your sexual intent or for being a man, okay? It's retarded. You're supposed to try and have sex with her. That's your job. All right. You okay? Yeah. Act without hesitation. Real man, direct. Okay, the three second rule is bullshit. Three seconds is way too long to think about doing something. Hey, I wonder if I should talk to you. I'm not sure. I don't think. Oh, fuck no. Okay? Too long. You see a hot girl? Go. Start walking right away. Immediately. Don't even worry about what you're going to say. Just get your ass the fuck over there and talk to her. Okay? Zero seconds. I live by this. Man that knows what he wants, okay? Self-explanatory, but great mindset. Girls can accuse me of all kinds of stuff. You're too aggressive, you're an asshole, blah, blah, blah. Yep, but at least I'm honest and I know what I want, okay? I've said that so many times. Yep, but at least I know what I want, okay? I'm not flaky. Great mindset. I tell this girl's faces. Yep, I'm a dick, but I know what I want. Okay, I'll get more of these mindsets will be on our forum, so do check that out. There'll be millions of people there talking about stuff. I'll be in there, so it's just that URL. Mindsets. All right, apparently, I've got less time than I thought. So, uh, let's see which, which of these I want to cover. All right, I'll do this real quick. So, say it with your eyes. Okay, my buddy James Marshall is really excellent at this. Also, he's excellent at making me look sexy. Pow! I stole his shirt. This is his shirt. So, say it with your eyes, right? Staring at a girl, intense eye contact, most powerful thing you can do. She can feel it. She knows you're, you're molesting her in your head, and that's beautiful, okay? Really powerful. Say exactly what's on your mind. A lot of guys are really masking what's on. If, if something pops in your head, it's probably the right thing to say, okay? Go for it. Go with your instincts, okay? Again, if she gets angry, goes, well, you just, I, well, I can't believe you said that on my tits. You go, hey, at least I'm a guy who knows what I want, okay? No big deal. Now, put yourself on the line, too. This is great about direct. Put yourself on the fucking line. I, this has gotten me laid before, where I've just, I've just said to women, if you, look, uh, I've said this is a great one. I like, I like you, but I don't think you like me. See you later. I've had girls literally grab me and be like, no, 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 wait. And then just take me to their house and fuck me. Just because I made it really clear. I like you, I don't think you like me, okay? If you don't like me, I'll walk away. Totally fine. Hey, if you don't want to give me your number, that's cool. I'm just going to go, okay? It's okay if you're not interested. Really, I can take it, okay? Putting it on the line. I like you. Do you like me or not? Okay? Because it shows you're willing to walk away. And that willingness to walk away is extremely powerful. Just that on its own, the fact that you're okay, just saying, hey, if you don't like me, it's cool. You're being that honest about it. That will get you laid on its own. It's very powerful. Dink. All right. So I'm going to go through these quick. These will get you laid. They're my day game rules. I'm going to go through them quick because we're running low on time. 
Smile. If you don't smile, you look fucking, you could be a robber or a creepy, and you'll scare girls. Always smile. Learn to, learn to fucking smile. Okay, it's really easy. Hi, how you doing? That easy, okay? Smile, first impression. If you're not smiling, that's probably the number one problem guys have. They don't fucking smile. Start smiling. Preframe, okay? Very easy. If you run up to girls and you're just immediately like, hey, you're fucking hot, they're like, what the fuck's happening? They'll panic and they'll run away. There's a reason I do that in the videos, because it fucking works, okay? Come up to girls and say, hey, relax, you know, I'm not crazy. However, you look fucking sexy, I want to meet you, okay? They're all, I do those on the internet, you can see them all. Start doing that, it gets you laid. My friend Marcus invented those, as far as I can tell. Now, yoink. Yep, I said that already, I'm emphasizing that always on this because it's really important. Run! Run! I hate, oh, there's a really hot girl. Oh, I'm gonna talk to her. Oh, she got, oh, all right, yeah. Do you know how fucking sad that is? The whole point about direct is you're okay with what you want, you know what you want, run! When you see a hot girl, run your ass over there. What are you, fucking 59? The only time this has been a problem is if in America when I taught boot camps and all the students were fat and they couldn't run. That happened before. They're literally like, I can't fucking, all right, you're fat, fair enough. You know, get, join the fucking gym. But, but you guys can do this, okay? Not that many of you are fat in here. Maybe just one or two. So run after girls. It's powerful, okay? You see what you want? Go for it. Don't fucking walk. If you walk, someone else is going to get her. Her phone's going to ring. She's hot. She's in demand, right? Get your ass over there and get in front of her and talk to her, okay? Walking is fucking gay. Stop it. Just run. All right. Dink. Be persistent, all right? If you're direct and you know what you want, why would you be? I'm not sure. Be fucking persistent. I've, I've got on film me reopening girls seven times before they stop. Seven. Hey, I want to talk to you. No. Da, da, da. It's me again. No. Da, 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 da. Hi. You know, I'm just going to keep doing this until, da, 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 until you stop and tell me your name. Da, oh, no. Hey, guess who? <laughs> Sasha again. What's going on? I think we should have a baby. You know, just be persistent. If you really like her, fucking go after her. Girls will test you. They're testing to see if you're a fucking pussy. Right? You stop a girl, she walks off. That doesn't mean she doesn't like you. That means she wants to see if you really like her. Get your fucking ass over there and reopen her. What's the matter with you? Um, again, only if a girl gives me a really firm like eye contact just goes, no. If she, goes, she gives me a firm, no. Nope. Then I'll be like, all right, fair enough. But if she goes, ha, 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 or looks back or any of that shit, get your ass over there and reopen. Don't be a fucking pussy. All right. I said this before. Only go for hotties. Stop approaching girls that aren't hot. Girls can tell if you like them. They're not stupid. They know. There's a natural chemistry between boys and girls, all right? If she's not hot, you don't find her attractive, don't talk to her. If you want to be friends, sure, go make friends with her. But that's not why we're here, okay? Only go for girls that are really, really attractive. Because guess what? You'll end up fucking girls that are really attractive because you're only talking to really attractive girls. You'll get used to it. It'll become normal. Your reality will be talking to beautiful girls, okay? Is that not what we're all here for, okay? Stop going for girls that you're not attracted to. Okay, you know, it just doesn't mean she has to be a supermodel, but as long as you feel like, you know what, yeah, I like her. Could be anything. You could be a tit man, you could be an ass man, could be her smile, whatever. But if you're attracted to her, awesome, get your ass in there. But don't talk to her if you're not attracted to her. Stop it. No jerking off. Stop jerking off. I know you're giggling. Stop it. It's horrible. What are you doing? You're, it's a waste of energy. It drains you. It kills your motivation. Don't jerk off. Go out there and fucking approach girls. They'll see it in your eyes that you're fucking hungry and you want to eat them. And they'll get, they'll get turned on and you'll, you'll get laid more. Don't fucking jerk off, for God's sakes. It's very simple, simple rule. I know all of you are doing it. All right, put your hands up right now. Who's jerking off? Come on. There you go. See that? That's good. I like that honesty. There's everybody. Awesome. All right. Now, this is good. Avoid the POA mindset. POA mindset. They're like, yeah, you have to plow. You got to keep trying. No, you don't. Stop plowing. Plowing is fucking stupid. If a girl doesn't like you, Leave her the fuck alone. She doesn't want to be your friend. She doesn't want to fuck you. Go away. Leave her alone, okay? So, doesn't mean not to try, okay? But there's a difference between a girl's flirting with you uh, and maybe she's interested or she's not interested. Do not waste your time with girls who are not interested in you. Believe me, if they're looking away, they're avoiding your questions, they're not saying shit, they don't want to talk to you. Move on. Stop wasting your time, okay? Girls don't want you to plow. You're just wasting your time. Stop it, okay? That's the whole POA thing. Uh, oh, the other thing is uh, POA mindset is like, You'll open a girl and then you'll just run away immediately. Right? You'll, you'll open her, oh, I don't think she likes me, and you leave. Don't do that either, okay? Just because you can talk to another 50 girls and whatever doesn't mean you should. It's, it's a stupid habit, okay? Really, take an interest, try and get to know her, and see if there's a connection. If she doesn't like you, don't fucking plow. That's all I'm saying, okay? Um, right, so let me just emphasize, because I think I'm just going to do this later. Try and, and, and see if you can get like a genuine connection. When you talk to girls, really look for that genuine connection. See if there's something there. Is there something there? Do you really like her? Is there something that she likes about you? 
Try and figure it out. If there's really nothing there and she's not interested, get the fuck out of there. Don't waste your time. All right. One thing I want to teach you guys, I think I have time for it, and that's it. The three musts. This is the one thing. If you just do this one thing, this will get you late a lot. This one thing, OK? There's only three things you have to do for in every interaction to genuinely have a real shot of hooking up with a girl, OK? Really simple. Genuine compliment. You must let her know she's you're, that you're attracted to her. Very simple. Could be anything. Doesn't matter what it is. She has to know you find her sexy, OK? That's one. Second thing, you must pull the trigger, OK? Pull the trigger means actually asking her out. If you're on, in the daytime, asking her out, hey, let's get a coffee now, let's, let's go bowling, whatever the fuck it is. You've got to ask her out. That might mean if you're in a bar, it might mean like pulling her into the bathroom and having sex with her or taking her home with you. Whatever pulling the trigger is, you have to actually make that decisive move. That means you're going to move things forward, OK? That's number two. Number three, curiosity, OK? If you really want to succeed with women, you must show and take a genuine curiosity in women. What is their passion? What makes them tick? What do they love? What do they hate? Who are they? What's their plan? If they had a million dollars, what, what would they do? Okay? If a girl really feels you're genuinely curious about her and you really want to get to know her, that is the most powerful thing. That will get you laid on its own, okay? especially with these other two ingredients. All right? So here's what's funky. I've come up with one magic sentence that puts all these ingredients together in one sentence. Okay? And if you just memorize a sentence, you'll generally not fuck it up. Okay? Can anyone guess what the sentence is? All those three ingredients. Anybody? OK, I'll tell you. <laughs> Sometimes I make students suffer, and I make them guess, and I make fun of them. So really easy. You're gorgeous. We need coffee. Any variation of that. You're sexy. Let's get coffee. Whatever. You're telling her she's hot. You're gorgeous. Okay? You're pulling the trigger. Let's get coffee. You're asking her out. And the third one, coffee sitting in, in front of somebody talking implies that you're curious about them, that you want to get to know them. If you weren't curious, you wouldn't be saying, hey, let's sit there and talk. So that one sentence, you're sexy, let's get coffee, right there, you've done it. You've asked her out, you've told her she's fucking hot, and you're trying to get to know her. Okay? So when you're in interaction, you don't know where to take it, you don't know what to do, maybe it was OK and you're freezing up, just go, you know what? You are fucking gorgeous. Let's get coffee. What are you doing right now? Okay? That simple, not difficult. We'll get you laid. Can't believe you guys didn't even take a guess at the sentence. Right. I believe I'm out of time. This is my slide for whoring myself. See, I have to put that in there, because normally I don't do this. I'm available for coaching. That's my website, sashadagam.com. If you haven't seen it, you can find me and the world's best direct dating coaches on directdatingsummit.com slash forum. We'll all be in there writing our reports and stuff we've done and crazy stuff, and there'll be exclusive videos. So check me out there, because I'll be there typing away like a dork when I'm not hitting on girls. I hope this has been beneficial for you guys. I want to thank Anthony for putting this together as an event organizer myself. It's a lot of fucking work and hassle for very little money, or usually no money. So uh, big up to him and all the people that made this shit possible. And thank you guys for coming out. I love you all. See you next time. <laughs>